I wanted to talk a little bit about a common question that I've heard over the years from some moms and dads, and that is about how their teenage girls dress. So everything from she's dressing too sexy, too provocatively, um, dressing too old for her age, um, to she's dressing too casual for when we go to a restaurant or go to church or too much like a tomboy. And parents, some parents take issue with that. So I thought it'd be important to talk a little bit about that. Um, addressing the sexy provocative clothing that some girls choose, I think it's important to ask why. What is underneath those choices? You know, why would she want to wear those clothes? When it comes to adolescence, one of the major developmental tasks is identity. Who am I? What am I about? What do I like? What do I not like? What are my values? What do I believe in? So these are all things that you as parents have taught your girls over time from them living with you and you guiding them. And now that they're entering into adolescence or are well into adolescence, it's time for them to discover those things separate from you. Who am I separate from my mom and my dad? Because they might not believe everything that you believe. They might not agree with everything that you um, stand by. And that's important for them to discover who they are. And one of the ways that girls do that is choosing what they look like, what they want their hair to look like, their clothing, if they wanna wear makeup or not, piercings, tattoos, even though they're not supposed to get those till they're 18. So how they look, the representation of who they are, what they're representing and putting out into the world, it's sending a message, right? They're communicating. This is who I am, this is what I'm about. And clothing does tell a story about who we are. And girls are playing with that. You know, I can remember um, in high school in particular, we'd all take off for the summer and when we would show back up at school, we would all be kind of surprised at some people. Like last year she was super preppy and now she's totally goth and she's wearing all black and she has black lips and people would have different identities from year to year because they're playing with them. They're trying to discover who they are. So there's something I think really cool about that and really fun and interesting. Um, if we can let go a little bit and let our daughters have some freedom in that area, that's a really safe way for them to explore who they are. Now, when it comes to I feel like my daughter's dressing way too sexy and provocatively and it really concerns me and it scares me. I think that's, those are important concerns and it can really lead to an important conversation. Again, I think having any important conversation when you know that it might lead to your daughter getting defensive, it's all about finding her sweet spot. It's finding when you feel like she's in a decent enough mood or a good mood and you're getting along and you can you can kind of, um, there's a window of opportunity where you feel like, okay, this feels like a good time to broach this subject. Where you can ask her, you know, I've noticed that, um, you know, you're really into mini skirts now, or I noticed that you really like to show the lace of your bra or the thong sticking out of the back of your jeans or whatever the case may be. And that's new. And I'm just wondering like, is that a trend now? So you're leading with curiosity. And that can be hard if you're having huge judgment and you're really scared about her choices. So that might take some effort for you to really find leading with curiosity rather than judgment. So learning about her choices, like tell me about that. You know, is it a trend? Is, this, is it what you're seeing, you know, online or on Instagram? Is it, um, tell me about the compliments that you get about what you're wearing. So it might be that this is about seeking attention. And many times, you know, there's the um, old line when it comes to teenagers, I want to be different just like everybody else. So there's this interesting dichotomy where they want to be different enough that they're unique and special and they're noticed and they have a point of view, but not too much that they're completely um, you know, they don't fit in or people are making fun of them or they're ostracized for how they look. So 
I think many teenagers are trying to walk that line. So asking her, getting curious about the attention that she receives from her outfits. Is she getting compliments from her friends? Um, are you know people of the opposite sex or even the same sex giving her compliments and noticing her? And is that making her feel good? So that can be a driving factor in some of those choices too. I want attention. I want to be called pretty. I want to be thought of as fashionable or cutting edge or um, sexy. And I want attention in that way. And that can be hard for a girl to say out loud. So you want to be careful with your questioning um, to ask about, you know, tell me about what other people are saying about your outfits. Is anybody copying you? Which is usually a form of flattery, right? Although some girls find it pretty annoying when girls do that. So it can give you an idea of what's behind the choices, the why behind it. And you might even ask her, have you ever received any unwanted attention? So is anybody, you know, any catcalling or whistling? Has anybody said anything that you didn't like? So I know some girls, they'll hear, they'll be called a slut or a whore or she's easy or just based on how she dresses. And that, so talking about how does that make you feel? Obviously, that probably is not going to make her feel very good. So kind of talking with her about also the idea that sometimes because of how girls dress, it isn't fair and it isn't right. But sometimes girls in particular get attention that is unwanted, that they don't want just based on how they dress. And that sometimes people can assume things about who you are and what you do and what you'll allow based on what you look like. And so it's just, and you know, this is the part where she might get defensive and want you to stop talking and, th and tell you that you don't know anything. It's not like that. Um, it doesn't mean that it's not important for her to hear it, even though she might be saying, you have no idea what you're talking about and you're wrong. I think it's still important for her to hear that you're sending a message with how you look in the world. What would you like that message to be? Do you want to show people based on the outside of how you look that you are smart, that you're athletic, that you are feminine, that you are, you know, what do you want to show? What do you want the message to be? And do your clothes and your makeup and your hair and your jewelry and shoes, does all that match your message that you're sending? It's just, you know, getting her to be a little bit more introspective. And then in terms of girls, you know, she wants to just wear her, you know, cut off shorts and a t-shirt to church, let's say, and that really bothers you, that might be, you know, an area of negotiation. So how about, you know, in this area, when you're going to hang out with your friends, how about I leave that to you and let you make those choices. But when we're going out to dinner as a family or we're going to church or, you know, a family function that then I can have some input in what you choose to wear. That's tricky because it depends on her age, you know, that, that might be appropriate for a 12 year old, but not appropriate for an 18 year old. So it's just kind of, you know, saying, look, I don't want to, I don't want to stifle your creativity. And I know clothing and what you look like is an area of creativity. And I don't want to squash who you are and your expression of yourself. And I also want to be good mom and, Make sure that you know, sometimes we have to put some thought into what we wear depending on where we're going. You know, what I would wear to Target is different than what I would wear to a job interview. So having that conversation in the best way you can without saying like, I really don't, I don't want you to feel judged by me. I really hope that you don't. I just want to make sure that you're um, dressing in a way that you can feel comfortable when you're in that setting whether it's church or an interview or anything like that. So a lot to think about, but hopefully this gives you some ideas to broach these subjects with your girls so that they can make choices that feel good for them, but also, you know, give them the response that they're really seeking in a healthy, safe, emotionally safe way. Thanks for listening. Hope it helped.